Zero with another t tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on how to export your uh, game from the Blender game engine into a EXE on your computer so you can run it, so people who don't have Blender can run it. Alright, so first you gotta go ahead and open up Blender. And then let's just do a really simple game. Just add a cube. And then just uh, add a keyframe, add a rotation keyframe by pressing I and then selecting the rotation and rota rotate it 180 degrees. Fudge. Hit uh, your up arrow key to go up 10 frames. Then rotate it 180 degrees. I hate when I do that. Then add another keyframe, and now you see that the cube spins. Okay, simple. Anyway, and now we want to go over here to logic, add connect them together. I want this one always and change this to an IPO. Starts at 1 and ends at 11. And then so go up here and hit P and then there it is. You just got a little spinning cube. Fairly simple. And to export your game, go to File and Save Game as Runtime. I'm going to save it in C colon backslash game test. Make the directory, and you're going to call the game test.exe. Okay, so it's going to save it. Alright, now it's saved. Now we go in here. So here it is. Test.exe. Now I try to run this, and it throws me an error, because I don't have the certain DLLs that are needed. So, okay, go ahead and close that. Go ahead. And then, let's see, there's a zip that is going to be, you can download, there's a link in the comment, it'll have all the DLLs you need, and you can find the link in the comment, download the zip, extract it, then uh, drag the DLLs into your file folder where your game is, then run it, and now it won't have any problems. See, there it is. Got a spinning cube. Spinning cube. Oh, spinning around and around and around. Okay. And now something else that's interesting uh, with Blender uh, EXEs and stuff, or games, with the Blender game engine, you can take the EXE and rename it into a SCR, which, if you don't know what that is, it's a screensaver file. So now if you run it, as it boots up. Now you've got a spinning cube that you can use as a screensaver. Of course it's not you know, very useful or anything, but it's just an example. So I, if I wanted to, I could set this as my screensaver. I don't want to, but yeah. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions or anything, just post a comment or message me on YouTube or do whatever. And so yeah.